like Iron Man's enemies versus Captain America's enemies. Yeah. Um. Captain America is just another super soldier, and Iron Man mm-hmm. enemies are more technology. Yes. Experience, Experience points. points. Shit. Captain America, at the beginning of Captain America 2, went up against Batrock the Leaper. And if you guys are familiar with Marvel Comics, uh, Batrock is known for being one of the most laughably lame supervillains ever. <laughs> He's just a thief that that hops. <laughs> That's essentially his character. Is that? A, I don't remember that. The yeah, beginning of at Winter the beginning of, Ca- of Winter Soldier on the uh, oil rig, it was a one-on-one fight with Captain America and Batrock the Leaper. Is he Russian or something? No, he's French. I yeah, remember I remember it. everything. They they name dropped him and everything that he is Batrock the Leaper. Did they say the Leaper? No, they called him Batrock, and there's literally like who the fuck else is named Batrock? <laughs> Dude, I have no idea. I it was Batrock. Yeah, I just watched this like a like almost a week ago. Like, uh, do you remember that one on one fight where Captain America takes off his helmet and he just one on one fights that guy? Oh That's shit! That's Batrock right. the Leaper. Oh right, on when they were like she was getting the data from the right exactly. Right, okay. Yes. Oh wow. He killed him really fast. Well, I mean, that's a that's they gave again him a little bit thing. too much of a fight. Yeah, Man, if I he's mean, like the lamest supervillain. He's, he's not. He's not. There are like four or five other that are lamer than him. But as of right now, in the Marvel animated universe, he's currently god damn it the lamest supervillain. Um, I think the lamest currently is Stilt Man. Stilt Man. Oh you, shit! Dude. Do you remember Stilt Man? No, he's I've just, never. Even... He's just tall. <laughs> he's just tall. <laughs> that's, that's literally his superpower. Is that he's just a little bit taller? Then my grandpa could be a supervillain. He's like six foot ten. Damn. Okay. But yeah. Um. Okay. Let's go over. Uh. Red Skull. I'm gonna do Captain America. You can do Iron Man. So okay. the first, both of their first movies. Uh. The his. The CEO. Uh, of an, Stark Industries. A Nazi. No, uh, for Captain America. Yeah. A Nazi, basically. Um, Whiplash. Um, Winter Soldier. Okay, let's let's see. Um, okay, let's do this again. Ironmonger versus Red Skull. Who is the superior villain? Red Skull was definitely cooler. Let's be real. Uh, more powerful. Red Skull was definitely cooler. It was fucking... Uh, what was that? Fuck, what's that actor's name? Uh, sh- it was the guy from The Matrix. It was also the uh, guy Agent from Smith. Lord of the Rings. Fuck. Yeah. IMDb him if you have him. Yeah. That. Uh, Agent Smith, right? Basically. Mm, he I was betrayed by Hugo Weaving. Hugo Weaving, that's right. Hugo Weaving is amazingly talented. He is in. He's in. I think he's. If. If he's, he's not, not, in not s- recognizable, but he is, if that makes sense. Well, I just forgot his name for a second, but he's totally recognizable for me. But um, if until he's in Star Wars and Star Trek, he has made it into most nerd universes. Has he been in Star Trek? No, until he's in those. Oh, yeah. But as of right now, he is only in Lord of the Rings and Marvel, which are two massive nerd universes. And I guess Ma- Matrix, if you discount the second two. <laughs> Uh, if you discount the third one and 90% of the second one. Yeah, the... F- the... the highway scene was so cool. Yeah, that was good. People complained about the uh, the fight scene between 5,000 Agent Smiths and Neo, but I liked it. It was clever. Yeah. I, mean, I know it was CG, but, like, come on, give them some credit. They couldn't actually hire a bunch of look like lookalikes that look like Agent Smith. Yeah, I mean... For that to accom- be accomplished, it had to be CGI. Yeah. Uh, and it was such a cool scene. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, right. Uh, superior... Stronger? Strength would have to go to Ironmonger. Ironmonger. Cleverness and wit? Uh, Definitely. Red Skull. Red Skull. More like manipulability. Manipulability. <laughs> yeah, that. But we'd go to Red Skull. Yeah. Uh... But um, I think def- overall, uh, f- like fear factor, like if you were to see one of them in, in person, which would be scarier? 
Full suit Ironmonger and red face red skulls. Like in animated versions and the comics, Whiplash is by far much look, cooler. In, in the movie, he kind of looks like Machete. Yeah, because it's Mickey Rourke, and Mickey Rourke is... No offense, Mickey, if you're watching, but you're kind of gross now. <laughs> I mean, he was a good actor in the movie. But, like... Shh, debatable. No, he, he played the character well. Just like, you know... He played not... the character he was given well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fuck. Um... Okay, I have yet to see Captain America 3. Me neither. But technically, the villain is... Iron Man. Until, unless there's like some secret villain that I don't know about. Yeah. Iron Man and his team, which I don't, I'm not entirely sure who's team. Uh, I know the team. What are the teams? Uh, for Captain America, it is Captain America, yeah. uh, Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, Falcon. Scarlet Witch is one of the twins, right? Yes, the other one is super dead. Yeah, very, very dead. You didn't see, you didn't see that coming? He was my favorite character. He was, he was a good character. I liked him a lot. His death was very... It was a good scene. Like, not like, you know, ah oh, ha he died, but like, it was a really, like, powerful scene, you know? You know. Yeah. Um... What are the teams? Okay, and then for Iron Man, it's Iron Man, Black Panther, Spider-Man, War Machine, Black Widow. Where's Hawkeye? Uh, Captain America. Oh, and Ant Man is with Captain America. Yeah. Oh, huh. You're just not the other way around. Why? I don't know. Devices, technology. Um, uh, I feel like. I feel like, um. I feel like the world would be better if Captain America died in the. <laughs> no? <laughs> Why? Uh, no, I was just kidding. Um. I don't know. I feel... I'm kind of pissed that the Hulk's not in it. Hulk's gonna be in the third Thor movie. Which I I think might be the pinnacle. If it's as good as the mythology, it might be the best Marvel movie. Let alone Thor. You know what's interesting? The Hulk is more like a god than every god in Thor. Because the Hulk can't die. Right? He literally mm. cannot die. I feel like he, he can, but it but it'd have to be some extreme limits to get that to happen. Didn't he survive like a nuclear bat blast in a comic once? I, comics, not movies. Well, he, even then, he tried to kill himself. He put a he, he put, put a, a bullet, bullet in his, his mouth, mouth, and the other guy spit it out. 